This is Machuka Nyarieko TV Talk Show, where we analyze politics and governance issues. We focus on national, local, and international news. We examine the political way of our people, social and economic. Nyarieko TV Talk Show, the house of ideas. Hello viewers, this is Machuga Nyaliko TV talk show, the house of ideas. And today I'm going to focus on Erugati Gashagwa, the former debut president of the Republic of Kenya. And despite the fact that I'm not able, I cannot just accommodate that issue that the former uh, debut president of the Republic of Kenya, because they are cases in court and anything can happen any time did say that even after being impeached let's give uh, the president time to fulfill the promises that he made to the people and here comes my question all of this begs the big question do you think Urgati Gashawa meant what he said? Of course, he's a truth man, but on this case, do you think that he is going to give William Ruto a chance to serve the people of Kenya? Kindly, before we proceed, if you are watching, this channel for the first time just take a second or two to subscribe so that whenever we produce another video youtube will automatically notify you and to our subscribers thank you for your continued support let's get back to the business of the day do you think in your own opinion that a man having been impeached and relating his story to that of Simon Maconde, that is being born on Monday, going through the rights of passage, uh, passage within one week, including Pario on the same week, is now asking Kenyans to give William Ruto some time to work. Is he genuine? Is he ready to give him some time to work? A government that has hanged or is on the process of hanging or already has hanged his political future. Because impeachment means that you cannot serve anywhere in the Republic of Kenya. Do you think these statements are truthful despite Gashawa having been known as being a truthful man? In our discussion today, I'm going to give about three reasons why these remarks were simply a mockery to the regime, the current regime. And the one, uh, Rigati Gashawa understands so well what is taking place within the government of William Samoe Ruto and he knows very well that they have already taken two years of which nothing has been done something that has been admitted even by the president himself that he didn't work because of this man whose name is 
regarding the show and that now from henceforth now that he has changed him he'll do miracles and he'll do some good work so because he understands what is taking place he has said let's give them time and that is in quotes time let's watch them if they have said in other words it was meant that if they have said i was the problem i'm the one who has made uh, a b c d to happen increase of taxes and many other evils if nothing has taken place it means then it is him the shower who has made it not to take place now that i'm aside let them give them let us give them an opportunity to do what they did promise so that's why i'm saying is checking them in quotes the reason why i doubt whether is genuinely giving them time this man is a political scientist his background is full of political knowledge and in politics we have various rules of us and one that i'm going to cite is that nicoro and i mean uh, machiavelli nicoro machiavelli or machiavelli as others call him was hidden litten the prince uh, according to machiavelli he did argue that tell people what they will want to hear but do the opposite maybe Karons, uh, maybe uh, the radical shower is talking of uh, uh, reverse issues because he wants there is that group of people who are not with him and he'll make them feel happy and probably sympathize with him as he proceeds to deal with them so this makes me question his idea of giving the president some time to do development and um, the reason why i question his remarks is that today with the absence of raira odinga in the kenyan politics he has actually become an alternative voice say absence of raira odinga absence of karonzo msuka and he is the alternative voice to the people and this could have made him this could have landed him into trouble this could have landed the gandiga shawa into trouble because having been perceived as on an alternative and after the regime having destroyed the opposition completely and finding opposition within them landed him in trouble and therefore these presidents cannot be given a chance by him so i question that giving of time to william ruto and his brigade to work at a time when he is more accessible to people today being out of office is more comfortable he can move around freely unlike 
what most people did that is going to die politically, the man is seen going to funerals, is moving around, so is able to access more, more than the people. Now this is a time is going to listen to the ground which has already sympathized with him, and this can be uh, seen not just in Mount Kenya but all over the Republic of Kenya because today once there is a mistake or once there is something that is said want it done they will say do this as you did while impeaching uh, regarding a shower within a fraction of a second something that was supposed to take uh, more than 70 days it took one can say less than two weeks when we subtract the court processes to less time and uh, this makes me question whether regarding a shower meant that he has given a man who made everything possible a group of individuals who handed him from one office to another without being fairly hurt a man who was crucified when he was sick in hospital a man who claims that people were calling to the hospital to know whether he's going to survive or is is dying what is your opinion this is machuga nyalieko tv talk show the house of ideas kindly continue watching our videos subscribing sharing and if possible liking our videos thank you and have a present day